Jackie, Mike, that's correct. Here in Mar here in uh, that's correct, I should say. Here in Market Square, there was a stabbing just last week. And take a look off to my right here. We're going to pan over so you can see it. There's actually some police activity unfolding right now in the distance, right in front of the uh, Chipotle restaurant here in Market Square. We're not sure what that is, but. It could be part of sort of this larger trend of violence we're seeing downtown and issues. B business owners, residents saying there's drug use here in Market Square. There was a shooting on 4th of July. Well, tonight, community members met with police downtown to talk about these issues and see if there could be more police presence. This Point Park University theater filled to capacity as people concerned about safety downtown spoke candidly to the police on stage. Kim Holmberg questioning police response to fights on July 4th. I had no warning that that many kids were coming downtown. There's a lot of videos uh, that were uh, shared on, on social media, and it, it was disgusting. Holmberg lives in Market Square and says she witnessed one of the many fights 4th of July. They were picking up patio furniture that was in the square and throwing it at each other. It made me feel hesitant to go outside my door, which is not why I moved downtown. Another concern, staffing. I really, really understand how tough your job is, but what we need is more police presence as a deterrent. After two hours of Q&A, plus talk of solutions like an app to track and help the homeless and even the possibility of citizen auxiliary officers in uniform with walkie talkies, most agreed this talk was worth it. And I do think the police can fix this. I think they have, um, they obviously have the desire. The community and the police feel that there is a problem downtown, a problem that hopefully can be resolved or at least uh, somewhat uh, handled. Well, we can report right now that uh, what you're looking at is some sort of police activity in the distance here. We haven't been able to make our way over there just yet and can tell you that officers got over to that very quickly. And even uh, behind me right now, there is a uh, police car stationed here with two officers inside of it. And that proposal, by the way, for citizens to help out and be armed with walkie talkies or using walkie talkies, that came from a downtown business owner who owns a violin shop and said he can't stand seeing the, uh, the uh, harassment of people he's seeing on the sidewalks here. Reporting live downtown, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.